Sheesh. What it do, C Gang? It's your boy C Will back at it again with another light, slight video. You heard me? Look, today's video, man, we're gonna be taking off the front bumper and also we're gonna be installing our new grill. All right, um, my car is a 2019, but I don't know, for some reason, they didn't include that new grill with the little two eyes, two nostrils, whatever you wanna call it, in the front. You know, I think it makes it look a whole lot better. It's just me and my opinion. So, um, if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, man. Almost at 4K subs, you heard me? Uh, without further ado, man, let me let y'all see this uh, this grill and all that. Good. So, tools that y'all gonna need for this install, man. I got two good light jack stands, light slight. This little pry tool right here, so y'all can get these bolts right here out, or you can use a flathead screwdriver. Got to get these out, and also the ones that's under here, underneath the uh, this tire well or whatever. That um, you're gonna need a seven millimeter socket uh, to get the bolts out from actually underneath the uh, the bumper, and you're gonna need a ten millimeter to get the ones that's inside and the ones that's also down here. All right, so it should be two and two over there as well on the other side. Um, a jack, of course, man, you know, gotta keep that jack on me. And also I had this crowbar, whatever y'all want, I call it a crowbar, whatever it is. Um, I, I already loosened up my lug nuts. Um, if you got a, a standard, well, not standard, but if you got a RT like, like mine, uh, I believe mine was the 716th or the 22 millimeter. Yeah, there we go. Hard for y'all to see that. But, oh, whatever, yeah. 716th, no, a lot, 7 8 and 22 millimeter. So, need a 22 millimeter head to take out these. If y'all got the standard 20 inch rims or wheels like mine. So, that's it. Oh, also. Show y'all what we putting on, man. You know, these right here. I got these off of eBay, y'all. Um, it was from like a Mopar dealer, as y'all can see. Everything is wrapped, originally reserved. Um, got that Mopar stamp right there, man. You know, these are factory parts, y'all. This is OEM stuff. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Got the OEM little bezels. Boom, boom. You know, y'all. So, hey, we we stick in the factory, bro. I ain't putting no Fugazi stuff on my stuff, man. Hey. We lit, man. Don't get it misconstrued. <laughs> so let's get. All right, now y'all, I'm about to just take off this first tire, man. Like I said, I already loosened up the bolts, so it should be fairly easy, you know what I mean? So let's get to it, man. All right, see gang, so as y'all can see, man, we got this first tire off, boom. Now, well, honestly, I didn't even do the other side yet, but that's all right, we're gonna get to the other side, but I'm gonna do one side at a time. Uh, now, y'all, we just gotta take off all these little clips right here. Boom, 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 boom. This bad bar right here should just pop out. Voila, magic. Toss them down. Yeah, so let's get to all these little clips right here, y'all. And then we're gonna go underneath. Let me show y'all underneath right quick, man. Oh. Know your board on mine getting dirty for y'all, man. But yeah, as y'all can see, man, we got these little seven millimeter bolts. So I'm counting one, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven. It should be eight seven millimeter bolts underneath, y'all. So eight seven millimeter bolts underneath. Oh, and we got all these bad boys right here. So let's get to it, man. Um, as y'all can see. We got all these push pins right here. I'm gonna probably take all these right here out too, y'all. And I'm gonna tuck this wheel well behind the actual rotor. All right, so let me get to that right quick, man. And we are gonna be all right. Let's do it. All right, C gang, so we done got this bad boy right here open, man. I'm recording off my phone right now just so y'all can see. 
But yeah, we go in here, man. Uh, we have to disconnect this right here. So just push down on that red tab. This right here is your uh, fog lights. So disconnect the fog light and also disconnect your uh, your side marker. So as you can see, you follow the wire, boom, it goes right here to your side marker, y'all. So we're gonna disconnect these two. All right, y'all, so we got the side marker unplugged. We got the fog light unplugged as well. So now let me show y'all this bolt that we gotta get, or well, two bolts that we gotta get. So there's one right here. I don't know if y'all can see that too, too, too good. Uh, for the 2019 chargers, y'all, I believe that's a T27 head. As y'all can see that hex right there. And then we also have one bolt, y'all, that's all the way in there. If you got big hands and it's gonna be hard for you like me, boom. That's the other bolt right there, y'all. So we got dig deep all the way up there, man, in that corner. Let me go back up in there for y'all. Boom, right there. So T27, man, get those two, pull this thing off, y'all. I'm only doing one side, just so y'all can see exactly how it's done. As y'all can see, I got my liner tucked in the back of my uh, back of my rotor, like I said. Um, I didn't take off everything, y'all. Uh, there's still some that's still in here. You don't have to see like this one. You don't have to take them all off, just enough to, to where you got, you got enough hand room. See, I got big hands, y'all, like the biggest hands I ever seen. So <laughs> honestly, I'm not even for real, y'all. Like, so let's get this done, man. All right, y'all, so I'm currently on the other side, man. Y'all can see you got the wheel off and all that good stuff. Just wanna show y'all how far back I had like pulled. So there's like the center line in the middle of your, your, uh, your head, your whatever this is, this little liner. So you don't have to go past that, but you do have to like pry the top off a bit just so y'all can get all the way inside there, man. Oh, see that boat up there? All the way up there in that right corner. That's what we gotta get to, man. We already took off this bad boy right here, which was fairly easy. Um, I would recommend y'all definitely use a 10 millimeter wrench. Um, as y'all can see, man, my hands are dirty. I have humongous hands, uh, like I said, man. So this would probably be the best bet. Don't use no T27, don't use no ratchet. No, use a wrench. This right here would probably be our best friend. So I'm finna get this one right here out, y'all. Well, this bad boy up there. And then um, everything should be ready to be taken off, bro. Let's do it. Y'all look, taking this thing off, man, was probably the I don't know, one of the happiest feelings I ever seen, man. It's like you watch people take it off and blah blah blah. You watch people do it, but when you actually doing it like on your own, like it makes you feel better knowing that you can like accomplish it. No matter how hard the task is, man. Hey, you put your mind to something, gang gang, yes sir, you can accomplish it, man. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So this right here is a comparison of the new one versus the old one. As you can see, the new one looks like the vents or these little honeycomb thing, whatever. These look a lot more wider versus these. These look a little tighter, a little smaller. Plus we got the little air vents right here. Just want to give y'all a comparison uh, before and after. Also on the bottom uh, vents, what well, the bottom grill as well. Um, these are much more functional whole lot more air can, can go through to your engine and all that, well, up to your engine. Um, these right here, a little restraining, um, wider, newer, like compressed, all small, old. So we're gonna get to it, man. So we finna put in the bottom one first, and then we're gonna put the top one in, man. So let's get to it. All right, see gang, so whenever we look in the back of this bumper right here, so the first thing we got, y'all, we got this bad boy right here, man. So only thing I did, man, I took a knife and I just pushed on the center of this thing right here. And then this bad boy right here pushes all the way out. So same thing on this side. Whoa, where's that? Boom, right here. Same thing on this side, y'all. I already did it. As y'all can see, it's already out. So take a little knife or something and push in the middle of this. And then voila, that right there should pop out. And then you just, you just gotta pull that out. And then next, we have to take these little four little things right here out, right? That's gonna release this this whole top, all right? But it's not gonna release the whole thing. So we gotta undo these little latches right here. So I believe you gotta... So on these little tabs right here, y'all, so the only thing y'all gonna do is lift up on that centerpiece and then push out so lift up push out same thing on the bottom too lift up on that centerpiece and then push out so yes sir
helped me out a lot. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, she, uh, she definitely gave me a helping hand because I had needed it. But um, yeah, man. So like I said, we got the the top part out already. Um, now we finna get this bottom part out. It looked like a bunch of like seven millimeter bolts. All right, as far as the lower bumper, y'all. So we have twelve seven millimeter bolts, y'all. Six on the bottom, six on the top. Um, some of them you have to access from the inside. Yeah, so the bottom ones, as you can see, you can access from the inside. But the top bolts, you have to go on the outside of the bumper and access those. So. All right, see gang. So as y'all see, man, we got the uh, the grills out, both of them, the the upper and the lower. So as of right now, man, you know, I'm just trying to feel how I can put this grill back in uh, as far as the lower. Uh, we ended up taking out the the upper first, and then we took out the lower second. So we just going backwards. Now we're gonna put the lower in first, then we're gonna put the upper. You heard me. So with that being said, man, yeah, um, whenever you put in this lower grill back in, right, you have to put it in from the, the, the front, right? You can't go inside out. You have to go outside in. So with that being said, man, um, yeah, I'm just putting the, the grill back in accordingly, man. Um, like I said, there's 12 seven millimeter screws. Um, there's six of them you have to put from the inside and then there's also six that you have to put from the outside I forgot which one it is if it's the upper or if it's the lower, but yeah um, I'm just screwing them in right now as y'all can see man um, You know light work slight work with your boy C. Will you hear me? Um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it man. I'm just putting in the, the lower so with the lower grill though y'all uh, It's much easier than than the upper grill the lower grill. All you really got to do is um put in the these little tabs right and then once you put in the, the little tabs make sure you hear a little click so that you know it's like nice and secure and once it's secure dog i mean all you gotta do is put your uh your seven millimeter screws back in so that's pretty much a simple as it can get y'all so yes sir man we getting this done man I'm the king of do-it-yourself. Only thing I'm not gonna do myself is the headers, though. I must say, the headers and my stripes I'm gonna get on my car. I, I probably can't do it, y'all, but come on, man. I I'm I'm nice with the installs, but I ain't that nice, man. You gotta be humble with it too. You know what I'm saying? So Alright, y'all look, first things first, man. I just wanna say shout out to my wife, man. Like she noticed the boy was struggling. She came down, man, and she even asked me if I needed help. I didn't ask her, but she asked me if I needed help, man. That's the kind of woman that you want by your side, fellas. So, a hey, big kudos to my wife. She was a big help hand in this whole installation. I really appreciate her so much. Uh, I couldn't have done it without her, for real, for real. But, yeah, um, if y'all do this, man, I would recommend putting the bottom latches in first instead of going from top to bottom. I think you should just go bottom to top. Ooh, them waves peeking through the do right. <laughs> well, yeah, y'all, just go bottom to the top. We tried to go top to bottom, put the top ones in first, but couldn't do it, man. And whenever y'all do this, y'all want to apply some pressure so that y'all hear a click. Once y'all hear the click, hey, y'all good, man. I mean, it's secure. So, yeah, we just checking on things, man, making sure everything is, you know, nice and, uh, cope aesthetic head at yes sir we just applying that pressure on it man making sure we hear it clicks on every little latch that we got man so yes sir all right y'all so we got the the whole front grill in man uh as far as the bottom like i say it was just 12 7 millimeter bolts too easy screw those on uh, as far as the, the top though it's the the exact same steps just backwards all right so what we did is we we had buckled all the the bottom pieces in first because man, I don't know, like if you try to do the top, then it's, it's, it's not gonna line up right. So what I recommend is we do the bottom ones first, all the bottom ones, um, and then you're gonna push them in until you hear like a snap. It'll, like you, you'll hear it. And once you do the bottom, boom, you do the top. All right, so after you put the, the, the bottom one in first, then you put the top one in first, I mean second, then you have these, these four little push pins, all right? So you wanna push these in, so. Boom, push them in, boom, push them in, boom, boom. All right, then you have, y'all remember these two little things right here that go right here on the side. So you're gonna put these back in. So those two, and then you should really be done. There's no more other, a lot. Right, you have one push pin right here, and then you have another push pin right there. So 
just watch out for that. So you got these top four, and then you got two that's like hidden in these little crevices right here. After that, y'all, y'all basically done with the the install. Just got to put everything back on, and which is kind of the easy part too. So let's get to it. So as y'all can see, man, we got them things on, bro. Um, let my wife do the honors. She obviously was a really big help in the install. Sheesh. That thing just look different now, bro. I like it, y'all. I think it look a lot better, a lot more clean. You know what I mean? Sheesh. But yeah, y'all, I'm not done yet, man. So I just have to put these push pins back in put you know the tires back on put all these little bolts and xyz back in but that should be really simple really easy all you gotta do is push them in so 